Hey, today I'm going to show you how to set up 1099 information for a vendor. <clears throat> it's relatively simple. Basically what you have to do is you need to go into the vendor entity screen or the entity screen by vendor. And you can do that by going into purchasing and clicking on the vendor screen. That's going to bring up your vendor search grid. Now, my vendor search grid by default shows the federal tax ID, the 1099 form, the 1099 type, and the year-to-date active. If your screen does not show that and you'd like to configure it to do so, you can right click, click on columns, and pick those actual text boxes that you want to display. We find this search screen quite helpful because what it allows you to do is it's a unique search screen in that you can pick a fiscal year and you can see the activity for that vendor in a specific year and then you can see whether you have a federal tax ID and or if you've recorded them to receive a 1099 form. So this particular vendor would be of interest to me because I don't have a federal tax ID. I paid them a large sum of money and I don't have a 1099 form checked. So I might open that vendor at the end of the year as I'm reviewing for 2016 payments. So I'll double click that vendor, open them up. And I might give them a call by going to the contacts and looking for which contact that I might want to know about AP. So I might look up Luke, look up his phone number, give him a call and say, hey, what's going on with this particular, um, with your company? Do I have 1099 information for you? And he's going to say, oh, I don't need a 1099 because I'm a, uh, a registered corp corporation and here's my tax ID. And so I would go back into the 1099 information, which is under my general tab in the vendor. And I click, no, he doesn't need a, ta a, a tax form, so I'm not going to print 1099, but I am going to put a federal tax ID of 1234, 123, 4567, right? So maybe that's his federal tax ID. I'm going to save that off. And now I'm done. So now that vendor will show up on the list with the federal tax ID so I know he's okay. I might further go through and investigate more vendors and get my list cleaned up to ensure that my vendors are clicked appropriately. Um, again, too, I can look at this and I could apply a limit. Like I could say where my year-to-date activity is greater than $600. And that's going to give me all the vendors with activity in 2016 that's greater than $600, and then I could do my investigations from there. Hope that helps. Hope you liked our video. If you did, check out more on our iRely development channel. Thanks. Have a great day.